Zaku is the latest Warframe uh, that's been released to the game. Uh, he comes with the new uh, Heart of Daimos update, the, the new open world. And he is the community created Warframe. Uh, made up of... he's the broken Warframe, so he's made up out of parts of, of other frames from the past, so to speak. And uh, he's got quite an interesting set of skills, uh, where you can pull weapons away from enemies and use them against them. You can go into your, your Mr. Skellyman mode <laughs> and run around as a skeleton, if that's something you're into. Uh, he's kind of cool. He's kind of cool. Uh, and in this video, I'm going to go over how to uh, farm. Uh, for him and how to get him because it's actually uh, It's actually a bit more complex than you might think so when it comes to the actual blueprint parts It's a fairly standard affair uh, when you enter uh, Daimos you you get a quest uh, With the Entrati family and the reward for completing that quest is the blueprint for uh, Zaku himself And then the component parts are rewards that you get for running bounties. So it's the same idea as with Gera and Garuda uh, in the other open worlds. However, when it comes to actually crafting the Warframe, uh, that's where things start getting a bit more complicated in terms of the uh, resources that you need uh, in order to make him. It seems with Heart of Daimos that they're trying to make the various open worlds a bit more interconnected with each other. So to craft Zaku, you actually need to collect resources not just from Daimos, but from the other two open worlds as well. Some of these things are fairly easy, and some of them... Oof. You're not gonna be happy about one of these resources. Now, all three of the pieces, the Neuroptics, the Chassis, and the Systems, come with their own struggles. And we're gonna go through them one by one. First, when it comes to the Neuroptics, you'll find that you're gonna need uh, 40 of a resource called Escher Devar. Devar is a mineral that you mine in the Plains of Eidolon, and if you have reached rank 1 with the Plains of Eidolon Syndicate, the Austron, uh, you can get the blueprint for refining it into Escher Devar. Additionally, you need a resource called Sharak Teeth. This is a resource you get from fishing in the Plains of Eidolon. In order to fish for Sharaks, you need to be located by the ocean. You can go to the ocean side either on the western or southeastern part of the map. Sharaks show up both during day and night, so it doesn't matter which one you pick, but you have to use a twilight bait in order to get them to spawn. So just toss that out together with some luminous dye, spearfish for a while, and you'll have enough sharak teeth. Another option, if you are so inclined, is going out and hunting for tusk thumpers, because they will drop mining and fishing resources upon death, at random. I have previously made a video describing how to fight against tusk thumpers, I'll link to that in the description, so you can go check that out if you need some guidance. Then you need a resource called Thaumic Distillate. This is a mining resource that you farm for in Deimos. In order to get the blueprint to craft Thaumic Distillate, you need to reach rank 2 with the Entrati Syndicate, where you can buy the blueprint from Otak. And in order to craft it, you need resources called Lucent Terroglobe, Gallium, and interestingly enough, you need two mining resources. Venerol, which is a resource you mine for in the Orb Valis in Fortuna and Thaumica, which is a resource you mine for in the Cambian Drift on Daimos. Now, Thaumica is kind of hard to get your hands on. It's, it's fairly rare to get it when mining, but you can also sometimes get it from certain resource containers on the Cambian Drift. And as an added way of farming it, uh, there are a couple of different pillars uh, spread out around the Cambian Drift that you can activate by shooting with your amp which will trigger various sort of mini challenges, which mostly revolve around killing enemies uh, with your amp. By doing this, the obelisk will drop certain rare resources, and one of them can be Thaumica. So if you're not having any luck with the mining, this is actually a viable alternative to farming for that resource. Once you have enough Thaumica, Venerol, and Sharak Teeth, you can get working on crafting those Neuroptics. When it comes to the systems, there are two resources called Postulite and Ganglion, which are just super common resource drops in the Cambian Drift. You probably already have hundreds of them in your inventory. Then you need 10 of something called Breath of the Eidolon. This is a resource you can sometimes be awarded for running Cetus Bounties, primarily the level 40 to 60 Cetus Bounty, and occasionally Ghoul Bounties as well. Then it requires five of a resource called Scintillant, which is currently a fairly hard resource to get. 
according to the drop tables it says that you can get it as a reward for doing bounties on Dimos, uh, namely the tiers 1 and the 2. But through player feedback, even though it says that it's supposed to be a common reward on tier 2, uh, they drop very, very rarely, if at all, and running tier 2 bounties is not a viable way of farming for them. They can also be found floating around like Cetus Wisps in isolation vaults, but again, they are quite rare, and through running quite a few of these isolation vaults myself, I have still yet to find a single one that way. Currently, the most viable way of farming for Scintillant is by taking out the Necromex that you find inside of the isolation vaults. They can drop Scintillant upon death, and they will do so with a decent frequency. When running isolation vaults, if you run all three vaults, the first one will have one Necromex, the second will have two Necromex, and the third will have three Necromex, which means you will have six opportunities to get a scintillant drop upon killing them. That being said, you probably have to run quite a few of these isolation vaults before you have your five scintillant, but that seems to be the way to go for now for farming for this resource. Once you have that, you can build the systems. And then we come to the chassis, and this is probably the biggest hurdle that most people are going to be facing. You will notice that it needs 50 of something called Venerdo Alloy, which is the refined version of the mineral Venerol, which again, you farm for in the Orb Valis. But then, you also need 5 of something called Gyromag Systems, and this is probably the biggest stopping block for most people who are trying to farm for Zaku. You see, Gyromag Systems is a crafting component that you are rewarded for doing heist bounties, in the Syndicate Vox Solaris on Fortuna. The problem is, in order to access the Vox Solaris Syndicate, you need to have first level up to max rank in the Solaris United faction. And that is honestly a fairly tall order. To go from rank 0 in Solaris United up to rank 5, Old Mate, which is the max rank, you are going to need a total of 372,000 points of standing, 385,000 credits, 35 training debt bonds, 42 shelter debt bonds, 35 medical debt bonds, 25 advances debt bonds, and 10 familial debt bonds. So this is a hefty amount of grinding. That being said, being able to access the Vox Solaris Syndicate means you can also start farming for Baruch, Hildrin, and the Fortuna Amp parts. So it's worth doing it for other reasons, I'm just saying it's gonna take some time. Once you've reached Vox Solaris, uh, there are a couple of heist bounties that you can run in order to take down the Prophet Taker Orb. All four of these phases can reward the five Gyromag systems as a possible reward, with a fairly high drop rate as well, uh, usually around 25% chance to get them. Notably here, phase two uh, is very quick. You can do that bounty in maybe around two or three minutes. So once you reach Vox Solaris, you're gonna have your five Gyromag systems very fast. It's just getting there that's gonna take time. But once you have them, you can build your chassis. And that's it. That's all you need to know. Now go out there and start assembling your very own busted up skelly man.